Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the Final Fantasy Brave Access video. And today, what I've got for you is a lot of news here. But not Halloween, unfortunately. We were all expecting Halloween, pretty much. But they are doing a stream soon, so we'll be talking about that very soon. Anyways, we've got Cecil here. We're waiting for Cecil. Here he is. We're waiting for some backspace. Golbez is here, too. And if you've been waiting for Rosa, she's here, too. So, the step up is a step up. <laughs> it's certainly a step up. And uh, there's no buffs, so I don't know what happened to this. Remember when they said they were going to be making all JP units, or at least a, a large majority of them, more desirable or valuable? What happened to that? No buffs at all, and there hasn't been very many buffs lately. So I don't know what's going on with that, guys. Not even one buff, not even giving her triple cast or anything, so... She is pretty good, but... She does have some limit limitation, just like a lot of other other buffers that come out. And Golbaz, like I said, he's just a box space helper. <laughs> he helps out your box space. And uh, we have Passage to the Fey March. Uh, doesn't seem like there's anything valuable in there at all so far. What else do we have? Oh right, he's S Golbaz S tumor gets buffed to where you can like. Change it to where they, one of them can give 160, I think it's 160% killers. Maybe 150. And then the other one is like, I actually don't remember what the other one is. It's, it's, it's I don't remember, I, I mean, I, I know what the effect is. I just don't remember what the numbers are. But uh, the, the stats of the armor don't get upgraded, sadly. That's all we really care about, right? So sadly, that's not the case. But um, Cecil's, the seventh star Cecil as S team where it gets upgraded. And it gives them a lot of stats. So look at all those stats, guys. That's pretty good for tanking. Pretty good. I'm trying to beat this guy in JP. He's giving me a hard time. I mean, I'm just bad at the game or something, but I can't seem to beat this guy in the amount of turns. Or not not, not the amount of turns, but as quickly as possible. Because I'm trying to use Tybus. And you would think that Tybus would be able to do this, but... Uh, well, I don't know. So I'm trying to... I mean, Tybus gets a huge upgrade. Um, around this time, I'm pretty sure you should be getting it actually very soon. In fact, that may be in this video. <laughs> Maybe in this video. But yeah, this guy is pretty hard because he actually does a tag team attack um, after a certain point. And you can you can use um, the free tank uh, to, to mitigate most of that. But he also does magic damage, which is like a random chance of doing lightning or fire or ice damage. And it's all random. So... It's not a. It's, it's. I'm pretty sure Global will be able to beat it because it's fire and you can use fire and dark, I believe. But it's still not that easy. It's still kind of. Eh, you got. You have to. You have to. You can't just go in there mindlessly and just kill it. You actually have to have a strategy involved. So with that being said, let's move on. More story. I never go into more. It's just more story. More lapis. And this vision card is something special. It does have Fire of Spirit on it. I mean, that's something at least for Final Fantasy 4, 4 units. So, there will be a live stream. I'm pretty sure this is when they're going to reveal the Halloween stuff. But it's just so weird because, like, now if they're doing it next week, now Nier is not going to be in, until, like, middle of November. Or maybe even later than that. So, make sure you guys are planning your Lapis accordingly. I think you guys should be really holding up to all of your Lapis you possibly can because, like I said, this is going to be a very tough time. Very tough time, guys. And like I said, <laughs> very tough time. So a lot of you guys, I know a lot of people on my Discord are talking about this already, but like, why do you think that they're doing this right now? Why do you think that they're putting this out right now? Do you, you think that they're putting this out here to, to look out for you? To say, hey, I got your back. I'm going to get you one of these VCs. No, they're doing this to take a lot of your lapis away. It might be very tempting. You might see that Dazzling Demonist card and say, wow, I really want that. Gotta remember, near Halloween and anything in between. <laughs> that rhymed, I guess. But uh, there's there's a lot there's a lot coming, and I did this on purpose. So you can do what we want with your lapis, and the dazzling demonist card is very good. But I I'm I don't know what to, I don't know what word to use right now. But appealing appealing to you, or maybe even reasoning with you. Make sure to just close your eyes, open it a little bit, and just blink a few times and say. Should I really go for this, or should I save a little bit longer um, for this one? I'm always looking out for your guys' lapis, and you have 
a bit of time to think about it. You do have a bit of time to think about it. I, I know it's really tempting. It's really, really, really tempting to get one of those cards they may have missed. But like, eh, it's just, it's really tough, guys. It's really tough. It's really tough, guys. Like, I, I would like to have that defense one. The second one that's shown there, I would love to have that. But, there's a lot of stuff coming and I gotta save my lapis, so. I'm in the same position as you guys are in. I'd love to have that, that defense card, because it's very good. But, uh, I gotta, gotta think differently, so. Oh, this is the, uh, Tyvus S team, or, or Tyvus team R gets upgraded and it's quite good. A lot more attack. And he gets, also gets flat attack. Also, he gets 100% all killers, and on top of that, he gets, um, where is the other thing? Oh, here it is. I, this is what I was looking for. He gets 100% um, chain cap, so that's that's the lightning version, not the Tifa version. So he basically gets a 600% cap with this team are equipped, and it's being upgraded. So Tyvus gets a huge upgrade with this. Very nice. Um, he needs, uh, he definitely needs Leftia. To do more damage for the 100% amp, but hopefully global will make a fire amper that's 100% for everybody that lasts longer or something. I don't know. And here is where the big W is, guys. This is a huge W. We weren't really sure what they were gonna do about this. Or is it gonna just be some random thing where you know just you just get random shards or something? But no, it's it's you pick it. So this is how they're doing it with tickets. Yeah, it's gonna be you're gonna have to wait a while, but you can pick premium units. So that's a huge W, guys. So if you haven't had Esther ever, this is the time to pick Esther's Fragments. I mean, not pick her as a unit, but pick her Fragments. If you ever stuck at EX0 for some reason, you pulled her randomly one time, but you have no shards for her, now is the time to pick her. A bunch of all other things like Olive, for example. So this is a gigantic W for Global, of course. Uh, this is extremely good. The only thing, the only problem is you have to wait. That's it. So I'm pretty sure you guys are not going to like that too much. You have to wait. But I mean, they were going to make us wait anyways. I mean, come on. They were going to make us wait anyways. They always do this. So you guys should have expected this. Um, should have expected them to wait, make you wait. But at the end of the day, after you've done waiting, you have a lot of shards to pick through. 300 shards in total. So make sure you guys are using them wisely. Don't use them on stuff that you probably won't be using. Don't, don't use them on fragments you probably won't be using. Uh... Uh, on units on stuff like that. So make sure you guys are using them wisely. I might make, I might make a guide on that when the when the when the information comes out completely to what we know up to and what we don't know up to and stuff like that. I might make oh you should pick for this 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 and this. Maybe I'll do that. If you guys want that I'll do that. We got a shop here for the last video part of the video here. Um Cecil's fragments are in here and also Rose's fragments are in here if you want to pull. Make sure to stay tuned to my review if um, I'll be reviewing these units of course as, as always so make sure you stay tuned to the channel for that anyways that's about it for the video don't have much else for you today but uh, we have Cecil here we have Rosa fragments a lot of fragments are coming and this step up for the the vision card the global vision cards I really think you guys need to hold back unless you're a paying player if you're a paying player probably go for it <laughs> unless you already have all of them um, I mean you could have two Hmm. Uh, but only if you're paying. If you're my free-to-play brothers and sisters out there, you have to buckle, buckle down, buckle your seatbelts, and uh, be ready for the ride because it's gonna be for it's gonna be a really rough one. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.